So this is the final video in this series. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to take a look at uh, how to make sure that uh, everything plays right in DVD Studio Pro and that we can actually burn our DVD. So previously we had dragged these uh, tracks down into the uh, timeline here in DVD Studio Pro. Uh, what I want to do now first is I want to make sure that um, A, this video uh, is set to autoplay so that when a reviewer uh, pops this into their DVD player, they can just have it pop up without any menus. Uh, and B, I want to make sure that this video uh, works in a way that at the end of the track, it'll go back to the beginning and restart itself. So there's two things I need to do here first. Uh, I'm going to go into the graphical section. You'll see there's a menu that sort of precedes this right now. If I hit uh, simulate, it's actually going to bring me to this menu first, and this menu has no buttons because I haven't created anything. And uh, you know, you could add buttons, you could create a whole graphical interface here, but I just wanted to skip this menu and go right to track one. So I'm just going to delete that menu, and then right-click on track one and choose first play. Now, when I hit simulate, notice how it goes right to my video. So uh, what I want to do now, now that it's uh, automatically playing, uh, I want to make sure that when it's done playing, it doesn't just stop, that it goes back to the beginning of the timeline. So notice this is marked as chapter one and track one uh, in my timeline here. Uh, there are several tracks you can have, several different timelines you can use. And this is, you know, again, if I wanted to create a menu with multiple branches where I could have my video with commentary, my video without commentary, and, uh, you know, multiple demo reels in the same video, let's say I had a modeling reel and a level design reel or something, you could do that and set up a custom menu for it. But, again, it's the best practice for this, just, you know, one, one reel per disc, um, you know, best sort of thing to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to my connections window, and here where it says end jump, I'm going to right click under target. I'm going to choose tracks and stories, track one, and just chapter one. And this means when it gets to the end of this track, it's going to go back to the beginning of this track. Let's hit simulate and see how this works. So here's my intro with the fade in. Here's my uh, clip one. There's my overlay. There's my model two. And there's my fade out. So when it's done playing this at 18, 19 seconds, goes back to the beginning, starts it all over again. And this is exactly what you want on your reel. So to uh, get this going, what I recommend now doing is uh, saving out your file and uh, going to build and format. It's going to ask you to uh, input, uh, insert in a DVD. Uh, Set a build folder, go to current build. Uh, you can choose a build folder. Uh, this will create audio TS and video TS files to burn this autoplay disk. You just want to make sure you have that folder created. Uh, you'll put a DVD in and you'll hit build and burn. And that's pretty much it. Um, once this is done burning, which should take about five, 10 minutes, you'll be able to insert your DVD, which I'm going to do right now. Um, so I'm just going to put this into my computer. Notice I've already burnt out this DVD. So uh, I'm just going to quit out of DVD Studio Pro. And uh, let's watch what happens as my DVD starts to read. So I should see my DVD player application pop up in just a second here. There it is. And here we are. Oh, I realized since I'd already done a test play of this, it's starting right in the middle. But we'll just let it go to the end. And uh, here it is starting again. So there we go. We've got our auto-playing DVD with the correct aspect ratio. That's everything we could want. Um, and that's pretty much it. You now have an automatically playing DVD. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully this will help you put together your own demo reel. And uh, for more videos, please take a look at uh, youtube.com slash slurpthegillman or kleinmakelearngood.com. Uh, again, this has been a video tutorial by Andrew Klein. Uh, I'm a full-time faculty member at the Art Institute of California, San Francisco. Uh, and uh, you can check me out on the Internet as well at andrewkline.net. Thank you very much.